I am surprised by the amount of people, yes, they are on this live right now. Shout out to John the Barber, just cut my hair. Please leave my barber alone and stop burning him. He, he's a good guy. Will Steve Rico. That's lame. As fuck. It makes no sense. Right? Um, the last couple months have been a little crazy. Um, you know, um, I apologize that I haven't really spoken out, right, because everybody now, you know, we have attorneys, we gotta watch what we say, you know, all these different things, there's so many different rules now, right, um, every five minutes, you know, I say hi to my mailman and I think he's gonna sue me, right? <laughs> At this point, I think my landscape, I think everybody's suing me. I don't, I don't know who's going to sue me. I can't say anything, right? Um, the one thing I am going to say, uh, you know, whenever you touch success, right, you get all these people that want to be around you, right? Everybody wants to be a friend. Everybody wants to just touch you, right? Because, they, oh, my God, I touched this guy. He'll change my life, right? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was, I'm successful, right? I was successful. Everybody wants to be my friend. Everybody wants to be around me. As soon as shit hits the fan, all these people that have profited from my success, which there's more people that profited from my success than the people that are suing me. But yeah, all these people that profited from my success, all the people that I have built out of jail, all the people that I have put cars in my name, apartments in my name, help them with down payments for houses, help them with this, help them with when they can't pay their rent. Where are these people at? I don't see them, but yet I got all the haters, right? All the Tony Bologna fans, they're on my page. You'll go to jail, pay the people. But yet there's two free sides to every story, right? I have 20 lawsuits. Out of those 20 lawsuits, a lot of those people I don't owe money to. Because everybody's suing me because they're like, oh my God, this guy's successful. I can sue him. I can sue him. I can sue him. Well, I'm going to get this money, right? Then you have all these people being co co what's the word? Coerced? Coerced? Whatever it is. Whatever the word is, right? To sue people affiliated with me just because they're a bigger name, right? They're a bigger name than me. And that's the situation that breaks my heart the most is how in all these lawsuits, these 20 lawsuits, DJ MB was never in the room. DJ MB has nothing to do with any of these 20 lawsuits of these people that are suing me. And it's, it fucking sucks, bro. It pisses me off that all these people are bashing DJ MB, Fun Master Flex, Rick Ross, every single person. Because what you people gotta understand is that DJ MB is so successful in hip hop that as far as a DJ, the people just don't like him. And even though I love DJ Envy, but nine out of ten people don't like him. I don't know why. You know what that what, what that what's that about? I don't know if DJ Envy's a bad tipper. I don't know what it is. Well, he is he is a bad tipper. I'm not gonna lie, he is a bad tipper. Sorry, but you know you got this guy Tony the Closer uh, making you know talking like there's a narrative, right? And people don't see it. I talk shit about DJ Envy. I talk shit about Caesar. I'm selling my my girl's ugly ass boots. I talk shit about DJ Envy. I talk shit about Caesar. I talk shit about Jenny Tips. I'm selling a real estate course. I talk shit about Caesar. I talk shit about DJ Envy. I'm selling an ugly ass t-shirt. And people don't see that, right? They're not seeing that. Then all these people with these lawsuits, they're all suing me, right? Again, before 2023, I have one lawsuit. Now I have 20 ever since this guy started bashing. Jose Incredible, the biggest piece of shit in the world, this guy's a fucking scumbag, goes down on Tony's page in May, says, Caesar owes me $200,000. He didn't pay me. Yet, Jose the Incredible, I have the receipts that I paid you back in November, back in January. Now you go in May and you make up this lie. And you start this whole thing where now all these people 
are being affected, right? Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. If I owe somebody, I owe somebody. Nobody is here to lie or whatever. I owe you, you sue me, or court of law will work the shit out, whatever it is, right? But now all these people putting this energy behind this machine, putting this energy, putting this energy. Tony the coach does not give a fuck about victims. All the money that he made from the t-shirts that he sold or the badges, he's not donating to victims. He's not giving them money. He's just in it for the clicks, just like everybody else, right? So all these people are feeding this machine. You're feeding this machine. You're feeding this machine. Oh, I hope he gets locked up. I hope he gets locked up. I hope he gets locked up. I got locked up. I'm still here, right? So now I'm here. And guess what, you fucking geniuses? That you don't want me seen get charged and get locked up. Now the government is involved. Now the government is going to come in and say, we're staying all these lawsuits till your criminal proceedings are done. So guess what? From a year to two years to getting paid, now it could be three to five years. And you guys will be lucky if you see anything. And this is like the most retarded shit in the world. Instead of having a conversation with somebody that's been successful for all these years, I have a track record from 2017 to 2022 of no losses, no problems. Then this guy starts bashing me, I got a shit of losses. Right? And again, you know, it is what it is. I, if I owe, I owe. Nobody is here saying that I'm a victim. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, people come on my page that I don't owe money to or have any deals with and they're talking shit all day. All these trolls, right? I wish all these people would put this energy to actually get a fucking job or be successful at something, right? Tony the Closer doesn't own any real estate. He's a fake real estate guru, right? I'm the real deal. Even though now I'm going through some shit that I got to deal with, that I'm a fucking man first. So whatever I am responsible for, I am responsible for. And if I hurt anybody in any way, make their life difficult, I apologize. But my life has been difficult. All of my friends and all the people that have success with me, where are they? Have any of them come out here and told me, yo, Cedar, you good? See, so somebody put online, they're going, to, they're going to kill your daughter. They're going to kidnap your mother. They're going to rape you. They're going to rape this person. Even if they tell me they're going to rape me, who the fuck wants to rape me? This is crazy. Right? And it's like, wow, this shit keeps on. This shit keeps on. You know, then you got these reporters, right? Making up, like, the other day, our heart radio's office got raided. They didn't even raid my house. And I'm the target. How the fuck are they going to raid the radio station? What are they going to take? The fucking CDs? The records, what are they taking? Like, this shit is crazy. This shit makes no sense. Tony the Closer says every week, Caesar owes 100 million, 80 million, 60 million, 50 million, 10 million. Fuck. I don't believe them that I owe 100 million. I don't even know at this point, right? Because the story's just fucking going in, in, in circles. You know, last week, I got hit with uh, one kind of wire from. That was my complaint right now. They said that maybe I have access to 17 million. So where's the hundred million that everybody's talking about? Right? Again, I have nothing against the government. The government is doing their case. I understand it. This guy has created this frenzy where hundreds of people, 500 people are calling every single fucking day to see this shit on social media saying that I'm defrauding people and I owe people money. But I don't know these people. Right? And all this shit is going on. And it's like, bro, social media is like the fucking devil. This shit is crazy. Like, it just makes no sense. And my whole case, everything that's going on is based on social media. Everybody's looking at social media for and, and this whole thing and listening to people that are lying. I'll give you an example. There's this guy, uh, he went on Channel 4 News. Uh, he's suing me, right? Let's say his um, first name is, you know, I didn't want to say his name, right? But his name starts with an N. He sues me ahead of our transaction is done and says, I'm only suing you. Every single one of my complaints when you read them, I'm suing you because Tony the Closer said you're scamming people. I'm suing you because I saw it on social media. This is what people say in these complaints, right? You know what? Why don't you talk about Jeff? Yeah, but hold, hold on. So this guy, uh, letter N, sues me before his deal's done. He goes on News 4 the other day, and I, te I text him back, which I have the receipts, in, and people are going to see that. Bro, DJ Empty was never in the room with you. 
Jennifer, my wife, was never in the room with you. My brother wasn't in the room with you. Why are you suing him? You know what he texted me back? It's just business. The other day, uh, this guy from Patterson, Jeff, uh, his son passed away, you know, R.P. Jeff. He goes on Channel 4 and says that I owe his son $900,000. I changed that kid just like His father was in foreclosure, losing his car wash, losing his, uh, the dry cleaning place, or, or wash, wash and fold. I changed Jeff's life when he met me. And people in Patterson know this. And I have the receipts and I have the text messages. I helped him save his car wash. I helped him save... I even paid for his property taxes. The first house that he bought, I gave him the down fucking payment. And I had the receipts. And these people are talking about it. They're all talking, making up these stories. Bro, I have a text message, text message from you. When your son passed away, you text me and said, if there's any money left, it goes to me. Don't give it to his daughter. Don't give it to his mother. Bro, I have a fucking message. Like, Every, I have so many receipts of all these transactions and all these things, but people are still making up lies, and this thing is like out of control. Again, DJ Envy has never been in the room with me in any of these transactions for these 20 lawsuits. My wife was never in the room with me. My brother was never in the room with me. All of this falls on me. I'm a man, and it falls on my shoulders, nobody else. You could talk shit on this, on this live, don't matter. You could talk shit on my page, don't matter. It doesn't bother me. None of it bothers me. I'm not affected by it, right? And like I said, any person that... I also apologize to the people that are still in my corner, right? But I'm at the point now that I can't communicate with anybody because now everybody is a potential co-conspirator. Everybody is a witness. Everybody is a victim, right? It's not, nobody's an investor anymore. Anybody's a victim. I invested in this company, Vision Bio. I invested $200,000, right? To give you an example, I invested in this company $200,000. Uh, it was supposed to go public. It hasn't gone public in three years. Now, am I going to say I'm a victim of this company because the company didn't go public? Everybody's a victim. You know, and even, you know, I understand, uh, DJ Envy's attorney, his defense that DJ Envy is a victim. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Uh, me and him were partners in the real estate seminars. We were partners in a couple real estate transactions. That's it. He's not a victim. He was my partner. He was an investor. Anthony Martini, this guy, uh, Anthony Barone, we did a real estate transaction to, together. They're my partners. They own part of the property. But everybody's a victim. Everybody's a victim. Nobody's an investor anymore. Nobody. So, it is what it is. Bro, and you people gotta understand, because there's so many fucking retards out there. I've been doing this for 17, 18 years, right? At the end of the day. I have touched success multiple times. Every time I buy a fucking, I use our door dash right now, that was with victims money. I bought to a restaurant in the state. That was the victim's money. No, you stupid fucks. I am successful. I have successful businesses. It ain't none of that bullshit. Like, dude, it, 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 it's ridiculous what people have been. Oh, my God. His daughter went to a concert. That was real money. No, it wasn't. Like, this shit is crazy. It's fucking crazy already. But I hope I get that DoorDash contract and hopefully, um, you know, I get a commercial or something out of it. Yeah. So, you know, again, shout out to uh, John the Barber uh, for, for making me look sharp with this haircut I needed. Thank you, sir. Um, thank you uh, for, you know, making a house call because these days it's kind of hot out here for me, right? Uh, the whole time that all this has been going on since I got charged, I've been in the same house. I've been in New Jersey. I've been in the same place. I haven't been running from anybody like and this thing has like taken off you know at this point i'm caesar made off now right and, 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 and it's crazy but again i just wanted uh you guys to hear from me um uh, and uh you know i'm here i'm here to face what i need to face 
I'm here to face my demons. I'm here to face whatever, whatever it is. If uh, anybody wants to book a one-on-one, -on -one, let me know. Nah, just fuck with <laughs> But um, yeah, again, you know, thanks for my friends that are still there. Uh, and people are still supporting me. It's not a lot of you. It's probably less than 10 people right now, right? Uh, maybe eight. A solid eight. A solid eight. I'm going to say a solid eight. Uh, again, I could lose it all back. Go to jail. Come out. Get it back again because I'm a hustler. That, that's just the bottom line. You know, um, again, you know, I never meant to hurt anybody or make anybody's life difficult. If I did, that wasn't my intention, which will be proven by all the years of success that I have in court and whatever is going on. This is the only time that I'm ever gonna talk about this on social media. And um, I apologize to my wife, my family, uh, DJ Envy, and anybody else that I, I have embarrassed. Uh, my brother, Lucy Rentos, I, you know, thank you for still being there. Uh, and again, you know, now it's just a fight, right? I got to yeah. yeah, everybody says, right? Like Jen says, this is not a good idea for you to talk. This is not a good idea for you to talk. Why isn't he talk? Why isn't he talk? Why is he running? Why isn't he talking? Bro, now I'm talking and everybody says that that's not a good idea. At the end of the day, I know what I can say and what I can't say, and I haven't said anything on this live that I couldn't say, right? Whatever I say is public record. So you guys can look it up for yourselves. I'm not incrim incriminating myself in any way, right? But I just felt you know, I just feel bad, man. You know, you know, I, I, I'm embarrassed for my wife, my daughter, you know, DJ Envy, my whole family, you know, they're going through this because of uh, bad choices that I've made, right? Because these are my choices. And a lot of people that I have to, you know, deal with, with the bad choices that I made and, and have to keep on getting attacked over and over again. You gotta keep on getting attacked. And I can't protect them, right? I can't protect anybody because you're not gonna win against the internet. You're not gonna win against social media. You know, social media is like when you a guy calls you over and says, I'm, I wanna fight you, you go outside, you wanna fight him, and instead of one guy, there's a hundred guys, right? Now there's a, uh, now, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of people, right? That like people are just talking shit. They don't know me and they leave none of the comments. They leave this, they leave that, and there's nothing I can do, right? There's no, this situation is uncontrollable and is out of, my hands and only God could control the outcome, right? I can't control anything. I can't control anything right now, but now I have to fight in civil court. I have to fight in criminal court. I have to fight who knows how many other courts. Um, but again, you know, I got good lawyers. Uh, the government's gonna do their job. My lawyers are gonna fight with the government, you know, I'm in a fight. I'm in a fight in civil court, bankruptcy court. Thank God I don't have kids because I would be in child support too. <laughs> I'll be in child support court. Next thing you know, my, my, do my dog's gonna catch a case because he's rich. Somebody's gonna sue him because that, that's how, that's how the, the shit is now. You know, people around me are getting sued for no reason just because they're, you know, around, around me, you know, and, and, and it's crazy, man, you know, and, and there's nothing you can do. Right? Uh, all I'm gonna tell all these influencers that are out there, anybody on social media, whenever you buy anything, right? We have this problem that we want people to see. You want people to see your success. You want people to see what you're doing every day. You want people to see this, see that. What thing you could do? People are watching. Everybody's watching. Everybody's kind of receipts of what you're doing. Do not show what you're doing because I'm a product of that lifestyle. So if you go buy something tomorrow, if you go out to dinner, stop posting that shit. Because people are looking at what you're doing and it's crazy. I'm not crying. I'm not asking for pity. You can go fuck yourself. You know, if you're out here to whatever, funny clown faces or whatever, I don't care. I still, I am still gonna sleep fine tonight. I'm still gonna be in a million, a, a multi-million dollar home. I'm still good, you know, but are you? Everybody making a negative comment right now, are you good? 
When I go to jail and I come back out and I, and I flip this shit again three times, what are you going to be doing? Are you still going to be on my post saying negative stuff? Bro, everybody's negative comment doesn't affect anybody, doesn't solve the situation, and it's not going to help anybody. So being negative doesn't do anything. It's just, it is what it is. You're negative, you're negative. You know what I mean? And it's okay. I understand that you hate your life. You're miserable. It's okay. You know? It is what it is. But, um, again, sorry. You know, this is my last time that I'm ever going to talk about something like this. If I, if I do use my page moving forward, it's going to be, you know, to inspire people. If I want to. But should I inspire people? Where are all these people that I inspire? I don't see them. They're not here, right? So, I don't really know. But, you know, anything that's going on in my life, you can go to Tony the Closest page and check it out. Or, or uh, the, 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 the hundred other haters that are out there. Yeah, you know, any of those guys, they know everything that's going on. They know where I went to lunch at today. They know when I walk my dog. They know when I cut my grass. They know everything. Everything's out there. So, you don't even got to hear from me. You can just go to one of those pages. But, um... Bro, you know what was it is amazing? How many uh, attorneys and prosecutors are on this page? Like all these guys know everything already. Shout out to my boy Hector. Oh, no, thank you, Hector. Uh, pa pa I still got Patterson's is with me. So you know, as long as Patterson's is with me, I'm good. So everybody have a good night. Everybody, again, this is Flippin' at Jay. What? DJ Abby's not next to me. Where you at? I'm asking. No. <laughs> I'm just doing it. But, um, yeah, man, again, you know, everybody, please leave uh, DJ Abby alone. That man has nothing to do with us. Leave Jenny Tips alone. Please leave my daughter alone. My brother, my barber. My banker, my cousins, like bro, like this shit falls out on me. Leave these people alone. Fucking bro, my fucking Christmas lights guy said he's not gonna do my Christmas lights this year because of the shit you saw on social media. What the fuck? I'm still you're not gonna do my Christmas lights. What the fuck is that? This shit's crazy. Yeah, he's afraid he's afraid of being bullied by people on social media. This shit is crazy. Yeah, they got me. Does that make you feel better? They got me. Uh, I hope the people that made me go through a rough time apologize to me and my family, but that's not going to happen because you're all a bunch of bastards. Um, all of my friends that have been successful with me and I have uh, put apartments in my name, bought cars, helped you get cars, houses, whatever, fuck y'all. Um, y'all one of my real friends. Y'all were only around me because this guy, flip it and chain, you want to touch me. Flip it and chain, they want to touch success. You know what? It ain't flipping a J number. It's just fucking Caesar. Caesar Pina is just me. It ain't, you know, flipping a J. Uh, the artist formerly known as Flippin' a J has uh, retired. Flipping a J is done. Right? And all these people that came around me, they're gone. Just like the name, with the name. They're gone with the name. Every week now, I go through uh, different lenders, different title companies, different realtors, different, all these other people just calling me like, bro, I can't do business with you anymore. Bro, I, I can't be uh, affiliated with you. I can't do this. But all these people, I went to their events. I spoke for free. I never charged them. I've never been one of those people. Like, you call me up and tell me, yo, can you come to my event and talk? Bro, I'm there. Anybody stops me in the street, yo, you want to talk? Can we talk? Boom. I'm there. Like, I never, you know, my, my, my brand or whatever, I never really try to profit from anybody like that, you know? And where are those people? The ones that I did all those favors for, where are they? None of them are around. But it is what it is. That's life, man. You know, you're up, you're down, and you got to keep it moving. I'm flipping a J. I see you guys around.